ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣದ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಚ ಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದುಭ್ಯವಶ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಗ ಹೇತಿಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವಶ್ಚ ಸ್ನ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸ್ವರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ್ಯ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನ ಅಭೀಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಿಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯಂ ಭೇತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನತ್ವಪಾಲುಭವಾದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರಣಾರ್ವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷು ಅದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸ್ವಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮೈ ಕದಾಖ್ಯ ಕಾಮ ಕರೋಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸಿಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶಿಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಬೋಧಾತು ಸಂಕೇತನೈಕವಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜುವರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರೋ ಕರುಣಾಭುತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇಣ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷೀ ತುಬಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗುಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ಬಾಗೀಶಜುಷು ಬದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಶ್ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಶಂಭಿ ತ್ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ
जानोष्य कृष्णाद विमुखोष्य दैवाद अधर्मशील सुदुखित अनुग्रहाये हो चरती नूनम भूतानी भाव्यानी जनादन से जनश कृष्णाद विमुखोष दैवाद अधर्मशील सुदुखित अनुग्रहाये हो चरती नूनम भूतानी भाव्यानी जनार्दन से गौरव गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा टोल दैट देर इज अ स्कार सिटी ऑफ हरिकथा एट प्रेजेंट देर इज अ स्कार सिटी ऑफ हरिकथा वाई देर इज अ स्कार सिटी ऑफ हरिकथा वट इज द रीजन गौरव गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा जगत गुरु टोल that we want to avoid pure guru vishnu it is a tendency of a bonded soul to avoid pure guru vishnu it is the tendency of all bonded soul even those who are in the form of sanyasi brahmachari maybe if they are in bonded condition still today they like to avoid pure vishnu it is the nature they want to avoid pure guru vishnu that's why guru vishnu cannot speak hari katha cannot give good advice to them that is why no other reason we can never say actually at present there is no sadhu we cannot say we can we cannot say this way we should not say this way that actually there is no sadhu pure sadhu that's why there is a scarcity of harikatha you should not say if you are going to speak this way then surely you are mayavadi surely you are mayavadi don't speak that way because bhagwan jagannath all powerful bhagwan jagannath all powerful always taking care of this infinity world he cannot take care of us he cannot arrange some sadhu to speak hari katha in front of us jagannath is crippled jagannath is paralytical patient what do you think what do you think jagannath can do everything Jagannath can maintain maintain infinity world. Jagannath Jagannath can maintain infinity world. Jagannath can do everything, but Jagannath cannot. Jagannath cannot keep some sadhu in this material world to speak Hari Katha in front of us to protect us. What do you mean? Popa speaking. Those were idiot people, foolish people. they think jagannath is having no hand leg nothing so what is the use of worshiping jagannath huh? jagannath there no hand leg what what is use of worshiping jagannath huh? foolish popa speaking yes popa speaking yes to make full of you you are already full to make you double full jagannath going to you know jagannath going to cheat you jagannath don't go jagannath not going to exhibit hand and leg everything jagannath want to prove you see i have no hand leg so better you go to some other source i cannot do what i can do jagannath like to cheat us that is why at present there is lack of hari katha 100% i can solemnly say by touching brindadevi salgram there is sadhu still today but you cannot see you are blind you are blind that's why you cannot see 
you, you are blind, that's why you can see, you can complain. There is no sadhu, that's, that's why there is no harikatha. No, we cannot uh, do bhajan properly. Wrong Siddhanta. Totally wrong Siddhanta. Don't speak that way. What do you mean by sadhu? What do you mean by pure sadhu? What do you mean? What do you mean by pure sadhu? Pure sadhu means a sadhu with acharan. What do you mean by sadhu? There can be a lot of sadhu. I can find in thousands of sadhu in the world. But Pope was speaking, if there is no acharan in them, if there is no acharan in them, surely they are not sadhu. Because sadhu is not this brace. Sadhu is not this dress. Sadhu is not this danda. Sadhu is not this dress. Sadhu is heart. Sadhu is heart. Who can say, you are not sadhu? Who can say, you are not sadhu? Someday before we discover, you know, great, great sadhu can take birth in foreign country also. Who can say? I was discussing about the topics of Sadhananda Prabhu. Who is doing Hari Bhajan? His position externally can be in any country. Who is doing perfect Hari Bhajan? Niskapat, without any hypocrisy. He is doing Bhajan. Maybe he is taking birth in Muslim you know, family. Like Haridas Chakur. So what is concerned? So, what do you mean by sadhu? Sadhu doesn't mean his dress. Sadhu means perfect acharan. If acharan, if, he, if, he, if you are devoid of acharan, if you are devoid of acharan, then I cannot say you are sadhu. I cannot make any compromise with you. I cannot make any compromise with you. Maybe you can kill me. I cannot make any compromise. If I find, you are going to avoid pure Guru Vaishnava. You want to project yourself as great sadhu. I cannot make any compromise. Unexcusable, unexcusable offense. I cannot do. So this way we know, acharan is sadhu. We can remember the topics, I mean the discussion between Haridas Thakur and Srila Sanatana Gosai. Shonathan is speaking to Haridas Chakur that Achar kare ke ho na kare prachar, prachar kare ke ho na kare achar, achar prachar na mer karaha dui karjo, tumi sharbha guru, tumi jagatir arjo. What do you mean by Bengali? Haridas Chakur, in front of Haridas Shonathan is saying, Haridas Chakur speaking, Mahaprabhu giving so much seva responsibility to the Shuddha Bhakti Prachar, everything. But Sanatana Guru speaking, you are topmost Acharya of the world. You are a topmost because you are doing Acharan and Prachar, both you are doing. Achar, Prachar, Namir Karodu. You are topmost Acharya. Many times before, I was bound to discuss one sloka from. Bayu Puran, Achi Noti Jo Swastvartham Swam Achare, Sthapatiyopi, Swam Acharati Jasmat, Acharjo Steno Kirtita. Why we are going to feel, why we are going to face such a fearful situation? Why we are going to face such a fearful situation all over the world, in this devotional world? You know the reason? Don't become angry with me. It is a Siddhanta Prabhupada Guru Varga. Because there is no acharan. Lack of acharan is the vital problem. Lack of acharan is the vital problem for which we are put into this situation. We are put into this situation. One particle of acharan, be careful. Don't forget this word. One particle of acharan, 
is more than thousands of lectures you can pass. You can show proficiency. You can show proficiency, you can exhibit your proficiency. All over the world, preacher, big preacher, speaking Harikatha. But it is a Siddhanta. One particle of Acharan is far better than thousands of your lecture without Acharan. Thousands of lectures is more important. You don't believe me? If you don't believe, come to me, I can show you. One by one. They are not going to foreign country. They are not going to say, I am a get free never. But their influence is going up to Golok, up to Golok Vaikuntha, Golok Vrindavan. They are so influential, they are acharan. They are their acharan going to touch the heart of Bhagavan and shake Bhagavan. Going to shake Bhagavan, Jagannath. It's called Acharan. Those who are devoid of Acharan, those who are devoid of Acharan, they always like to avoid Acharan, Acharan Sil Sadhu. You can see in this society. It's in this society, you can see, open your eyes and see. Follow. All those who are devoid of Acharan, maybe great position, Acharya, this, that. But Prabhupada speaking, those who are not established in achari, Acharan, those who are not established in Acharan, maybe he is, he is, you know, great scholar, maybe externally, great proficiency, having billions of dollars, but it's not Acharya. Not Acharya, not Acharya, not Acharya. It's not Acharya. Prabhupada speaking, if we are not established in Acharan, then we should not go for preaching. But just the opposite thing happening. Just the opposite thing happening. Our preaching is just like a platform speaker, salesman. Our preaching is like a, you know, salesman. It's not preaching. Papa speaking. I am not speaking. Papa speaking. They are like salesmen are preaching. If there is acharan, if you are not going to speak anything, see, still your presence can shake the environment. You cannot speak anything, but still. One by one I can discuss. Also very shortly, I am going to publish one article. It should be circulated. It should be circulated very high way. Very important article on the basis of Guru Gauriya. It can shake your heart. Follow. Sanatana Goswami, Rupa Goswami Path, you know, Jiva Goswami Path, Raghunath Dada Goswami Path, Vishwanath Chakotiva, Balavad Vidyabhushan, you know. Follow. What is it? Bhakti Manu Thakur, they are not going to foreign country. But they are their message, their message, their acharan, all over the world. And maybe you can ignore. That is up to but acharan, you know, the message of their, you know, their, you know, of their acharan, everything going all around. This is so important thing. He is actually acharya. Who is Acharya? He is actually Acharya. By his own Acharan, by his own Acharan, Siddhanta Vichar Acharan can influence you. He is actually Acharya. Who is going to influence you by his own Acharan? You can feel interested to follow that Guru Vaishnava. So pure Acharan. You can try. And you can try to get established in Acharan by the help of that Acharan Sadhu. Follow. Maybe at present you are weak. You have some weakness. Some anartha, anavilas can be there. But if you are only one point, if you are not kapat, 
Maybe you have countless anartha. Maybe you have countless anartha. Maybe you are weak. You have countless anartha. Maybe you have different kind of anavilash. Anavilash, you know, different kind of desire. But still, if one point, if there is only one point inside your heart that you are nis kapat, no kapat bab, then you can get facility in front of pure sadhu, nis acharan si sadhu. You can come in front of acharan si sadhu and hear harikatha, and that harikatha as if like to shake you. You can feel some reaction inside heart. You can feel some reaction. You cannot be. A, you can feel hot. That is called. That's mean. Yes, reaction. That's mean that sadhu you can ignore. You cannot invite, but Bhakti Murthy or Popat can invite. You need not invite him. Anyway, he is going to avoid you all. He cannot go anywhere. So this way, only niskapat. If you are niskapat, like in Kirtan, you know. जोग्यता विचारे किचु नहीं पाए तुम्हारो कोरुना सार। If गुरु महाराज going to, if गुरु महाराज going to calculate, if my गुरु महाराज going to calculate how much quality qualification I have, so that I can get diksha, then I can become disqualified. It's true. At the same time, another point is true. What is that point? That who is going to approach one sadhu, pure sadhu, guru, he is niskabad or not? I am least interested about how much apara, how much, uh, how much, you know, papa, sinful activities are done. I am, less, I am less interested about how much sinful activities. I am less interested about how much sinful activities he has done his life. He can... Maybe he has done countless sinful activities. I am listening to us about that. Because that can be vanished by the mercy of pure Guru Vishnu. That's not a big issue. But second, first point is that is niskapad or not? Is niskapad or not? Is it kapat or not? If not kapat, then all by the mercy of Guru, he can get all power. He can get all power, he can get all acharan, he can get established in acharan, and today or tomorrow you can discover he is Guru. Oh my God! He is Guru. Yes. Because Guru Shabha can make you Guru. Because Guru Shabha, because Sadguru Shabha can make you Guru. Don't forget this point. Sadguru Shabha can make you Guru. Only and only, Sadguru Sheva can make you Guru. No other way. No other way. Sadguru Sheva can make you, make you Guru. Maybe today you are disciple. Like the case of Srila Bhakti Vedanta Vamangu Sri Maharaj. All the qualities, all the qualities of Guru Varga going to touch his heart. Regarding Siddhanta, regarding Acharan, all how nice! If one acharans is sadhu, you can test it. In my lives, so many examples, but I don't like to speak. People can misunderstand me. Acharan has so influence that in, in a sabha, if there is so many copper people, they like to see it is dharma sabha. They like to see it is Dharma Sabha, but Santo Goswami Maharaj can say it is Adharma Sabha. Follow. They can arrange one Dharma Sabha, they can declare it is Dharma Sabha, but analytically, analytic, analytically Santo Maharaj can say it is Adharma Sabha, not other, Dharma Sabha. Because there is no justice. The society where pure Guru Vaishnava gone, not getting any honor, they are going to be cheated. The society in which a pure Guru Vaishnava is not going to get any honor, respect, invitation, going to be cheated. Be sure that society 
going to be destroyed today or tomorrow. Hundred percent going to be destroyed. With those acharyas, they can get destroyed. With their followers, they can destroy. It's so important thing. In a sabha, in a dharma sabha, we have, you know we have the chance to go through Vishwavishnabha Sabha arranged by Prabhupada Bhakti Thakur. So powerful sadhu. Oh, I cannot forget. Those were Acharansil Sadhu, if they are sitting in a Dharma Sabha, they are sitting with Danda, like Madhavusim Maharaj, Bhakti Vida. We, we can saw in Gauriya different pictures. Bhakti Vida Madhavusim Maharaj, Bhakti Vida Keshavusim Maharaj, Bhakti Raga Siddhar Gosim. They are sitting with Danda here. It seems like different star. Oh, powerful star. They are light emitting from their body. Their personality is going to teach us. They need not speak Harikatha. They need not speak Harikatha. Their personality, their acharan is more than enough. Only they can sit. Bhakti Vivek Bharati Goshi Maharaj. Someday I can discuss about him. Someday I can discuss, you can go mad. You can go mad. Oh, so great, great jewels. Aprakita jewels, so great, great Aprakita jewels there in our Gauriya Mart. And then why you are beggar? Why you are beggar in the way of bhajan? Why you are beggar? Eh? Why? You have so much treasure waiting. Guru Varga there, great, great jewels, Aprakita jewels there in Gauriya Mart. Papa speaking, those are already sent by Bhagavan. How you can ignore them? How you can insult them? You should glorify them to get kipa. I can speak about Bhakti Vivek, Bharati Maharaj, Bhakti Vivek. So whole, you know, society under the guidance of that idiot, you know, Sahajiya, they wanted to go against Koryamat. Bhakti Vivek, Bharati Maharaj. At present, I am getting so much facility. I like to I like to cry. Why this kind of facility was not there with Prabhupada? I am a fallen soul, I am an insect. You are giving me so much facility to speak Harikatha and... Eh? At the time of Prabhupada, at the time of Kesegusi Maharaj, there was no such facility. Then we could get this kind of, you know, this kind of, you know, things, treasure. Anyway, we can keep hope. We can keep hope still today because parampara gyan, our knowledge coming through exact parampara cannot get lost. If I have my acharan, you can get the same siksha, same teachings. If I have, if I have acharan, then don't cry. You can get same siddhanta what was available at the time of Prabhupada, at the time of Krishna Guzman. Don't cry. Through parampara, Bhagavad parampara, do parampara, we are going to protect the same aprakita again. Same! Same aprakita again. By acharan and Siddhanta Bishar, everything we like to project. You see, that was the position of Gauriya society. Jewels. We should not lament. Still today, still today, some Acharansil Sadhu can represent the same teachings by Sala Prabhupada, Santagusim Maharaj, Kesavu. Who told that everything is lost? Who told that treasure is lost? Who told that treasure is lost? Jagannath is useless? Who told you Jagannath is useless? Everything lost? Nothing lost. Nothing lost. Keep hope. We can go ahead. Nothing lost. Writings of Pope are there. Everything there. Acharana of Pope are there. We can hear. We have the scope to hear through Guru Parampara. Maybe those demons, they wanted to throw all the writings of Pope. Rest of the writing. I can discuss. Abhir Bhaktiti of Pope are coming. Those demons, they wanted to throw everything in Ganga. 
They like to kill Gauriya Mart. They don't know idiot. They cannot kill Gauriya Mart. They cannot kill one Acharan Sadhu. They can, they can try to kill. They can try to kill. They can challenge. They can try to kill Acharan Sadhu. They can get they, they destroyed. They can get destroyed. You don't know what is Acharan. So Acharan is most important thing. Acharan is so important thing. We have the scope to discuss about the Acharan of Sisila, Bhakti Kumu Santu Gose Maharaj. Vivid example. A symbol, a symbol, a symbol of truthfulness. Today you cannot show. Today you cannot show truthfulness. False light patishtha. I am in Basasan. If, if I speak lie, I can get destroyed. I promise you. I can show you so much document, letters, everything. For small things, very small things, like to speak lie. In the asan of Acharya, they are decorating the asan of Acharya, speaking lie. I can prove. Truthfulness is not there. Truthfulness is not there anywhere. All for slight, slight thing. They like to exhibit. They are going to do bhajan of that absolute, absolute truth. Whereas you cannot give value. Whereas you cannot give value to general truth. In human behavior, you are speaking lie to me. Eh? You are writing false information to me, and you like to project yourself, great acharya. How possible? Come to me if I have your power. So acharan is so important and truthfulness, a symbol of truthfulness, a symbol of Guru Nishtha. A symbol of truthfulness, a symbol of truthfulness, a symbol of Guru Nishtha. This my Guru Padma, Sisila Bhakti Kumu Santagoshi Maharaj. If I go on discussing, it will take long time. Even I cannot finish how the Santagusi Maharaj, who came in bhajan in his childhood, very small, you know, very small boy came in bhajan. His father, mother, uncle, all, you know, took shelter of Srila Prabhupada. Vaikuntha Babu. His father is Vaikuntha Babu. And uncle used to say in Goryamad, this is the topmost kirtanya. Topmost kirtan. So naturally, from very small boyhood, he used to worship. They had, already they, they, they had, you know, Bigraha, Radha, uh, you know, Roman or like that, big I forget. Already they had in the, inside the, in Minnapur. So, Guru Padma Sila Bhakti Pramod Purigishi Maharaj, that time Pranamananda Brahmachari and Sila Bhakti Hidoy Banudev Goshe Maharaj. Both of them went to their house someday. They are watching. That small boy is so sincere, so nice kirtan, so consciousness, high consciousness, high feeling, sensitivity. Then immediately, my Guru Padma and Srila Bhakti Do Banadukasi Maharaj wanted to put some proposal in front of his father. Why not you allow this son to come to Goryamat, to join Goryamat? Well, if he is like to go, I have no objection because there are three brothers. Three brothers. One is his name is Radharaman. His name is Radharaman Roy. Title was Roy. He was Jamindar, landlord. Anyway, I have no time to discuss about all these things. Siddhanta Bichar, I like to discuss. So, in very small age, he was. 
in Goryamat. He joined Goryamat in Ultadanga. You know Ultadanga? Calcutta. Ultadanga, they are joined. And he agreed to stay in Goryam, Mission Goryamat. Then, by the permission of Prabhupada, he was admitted to a nearby school. His schooling was going on. And, uh, and in the meantime, he used to serve. He used to, he used, he, at the same time, he used to serve Goryamat all the time. Prabhupada was watching all the way. Prabhupada watching his sincerity. Prabhupada speaking, the small boy. Prabhupada watching the small boy, so sincerity. Papri. So sincerity, high sensitivity. So Prabhupada wanted to give Harinam, okay, after that Diksha also. So he started his bhajan life in Gauriyamat. At the same time, you know, you know, doing education also. Everything going on. In the meantime, <coughs> it was situation situation demand that he should be sent to Chaitanya Mahat. So he was sent in Chaitanya Mahat also. So there he started reading because after the schooling is over, His school education was over, then by the permission of Prabhupada, he took permission from Prabhupada to read Sanskrit in Chaitanya Mahat. Here he is coming and there he is a small boy. And you know, there is great, great devotees there, like our Narari Prabhu, everybody there. Hello, Bhaktivinoda Brahmachari, Bhaktivinoda Purishima, you know, our Kesav Goswami Maharaj, that time, Kesav Goswami Maharaj, all there. Kesav Goswami, I mean, that time, he was Vinod Babu, all there, under their guidance, he is staying. My Guru Maharaj used to love him very much. And at the same time, he started reading Sanskrit under the guidance of one disciple of Prabhupada. He was, he was you know, Sanskrit, you know, professor. He started reading. After reading for a long time, then in Dhaka Gauriyamat, Dhaka, you know, Dhaka, you know, Dhaka Gauriyamat, Madhya Gauriyamat, they are they're in charge speaking. We need one devotee to skiing. Sing Kirtan. We need one devotee to sing Kirtan. So much devotee coming, so much preaching going on. Then Popat going to suggest to Popat. Popat going to suggest. Popat giving to give instruction to Radharaman Bhamuchari. Radharaman, you like to go to uh, Madhugori Mat? Yes. Why not? Or uh, actually, you will have to do Kirtan there. They need Kirtanya. Follow. Then the reading of Sanskrit cannot continue. And the reading of Sanskrit, can, if he is going to complete his Sanskrit course, he surely cannot do Guru Seva. Then Prabhupada laughing and speaking, if you are interested about Guru Seva, if you can feel that by Guru Seva, you can get complete, then whatever lesson you have taken is okay. You need not waste your time because life is unstable. Anytime we can death. So we can start Guru Seva. Pope. Then that small boy speaking, yes, Prabhupada, what do you say? I agree. You can go alone? Yes. Why not alone? You can go alone to Dhaka? Yes, I can go. Small boy. You can go alone? Yes, I can go alone. If you permit me, then he is going to... Because that journey... Halfway, halfway you have to go by steamer, waterway, and another landway. Halfway, halfway you have to go <laughs> waterway, and have, and then Santosima is going to buy ticket and sitting in a launch, a launch you know steamer, in an appropriate place so that he can come, he can see the scenery of Ganga. A small boy, he was the first passenger. When he took ticket, that's why nobody came. He was the first. So he is going to choose one suitable place, sitting here and doing Harinam. After that, gradually, so many people coming. The land, the you know, steamer was full of people. Some senior, 
some senior old citizen, I mean old man, come hey, the small boy, you are sitting, huh? you are young small boy, huh? for old man they need ear, for old man they need, you are sitting here, go. At present, you know, father and mother giving birth of, you know, children not taking care, they are no etiquette, nothing. Get up! Then without any complaint, he is going to get up and standing in the gate. Okay. Unnecessary their child. The unnecessary speaking will speak all rubbish. He is not giving any answer. Because Santoshi Maharaj, by the mercy of Guru Maharaj, can realize that common people, material people, I also write in my letter that people can honor me or insult me. What is it concerned to me? People can honor me, can insult me. Just now I can give some fuel. Just now I can give some fuel to some people. They can give on, oh Maharaj, you are great, this, that. If I am going to speak Harikata about Popa, oh, useless. He is criticizing, idiot. <laughs> if I give some fuel, to his fire already burning inside her. Then, okay, Maharaj is great. Give. They can invite me. Follow. I don't want any kind of invitation. Because already I have some invitation from proper place. <laughs> so you need not invite me. What I can do? This way, this way, actually, Pure acharan so important, so Santokhusri Maharaj could realize material, material people, material people can sometimes can honor me, can dishonor me, what it can, he get up. In the meantime, within half an hour, launch going, steamer going, then the announcement coming, a crew, the crew of the steamer, the crew, the crew of the steamer announcing, be careful, all you know, passenger, be careful. We cannot take risks either because the condition of this ocean is very bad. Condition of the ocean is now very bad. Any time the you know the steamer can capsize, get ready. You can chant the name of your Ishtadev Bhagavan. You can chant because it is now it is it is beyond our control. Now the condition is beyond our control. We can only depend upon Supreme Lord. So you all are requested to chant the name of Bhagavan. Then the man, first man, who is speaking, hey, get up. He started crying. He started crying. Today I am going to carry so much ornaments and clothes, everything, because my uh, marriage of my daughter, marriage ceremony, my daughter is, you know, due. I am going to attend. If I am going to die, what will happen? about the marriage of my daughter. <laughs> then the man who is going to say, hey, get up, go, he started crying. And another man said, hey, this is not the, this is not the time to speak that. This is not the time to speak that way. You see the announcement. You, we all are requested to speak about the name of Bhagavan. Why not you? You can call Bhagavan, that the old man speaking, our calling, our calling, our calling cannot reach out to that Supreme Lord. Our calling, our request cannot reach out to that Supreme Lord because we have no acharan. And the small boy is, uh, the small boy, if he is going to request, to, then maybe Bhagavan can hear. Now just, you know, half an hour before he is going, hey, get up, small boy, useless, and no etiquette. Now he is requesting, oh, you can, he can chant the name of Bhagavan so that we can save our life. Then Santokhus is thinking, actually I am bonded soul, you know. <laughs> Santokhus is actually I am bonded soul. So my Guru Maharaj is, you know, great. So by the mercy of Guru Maharaj, it can so happen, let me try. Santokhus is let me try. By the mercy of Guru Maharaj, my Guru Maharaj, it can so happen, so let me try. But, but all of you, all of you must sing the song, what I can say, eh? Mahamantra. All of you. Well, yes, yes, yes. Oh, small sadhu. Oh, small sadhu, you can go on. We can sing. They are going to sing. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna. They are singing. Then within 20 minutes, 25 minutes, the situation is calm and quiet. Normal situation come back. 
then everybody is going to respect Santa Maharaj. <laughs> Small boy. This way, he was sent to Rangoon. Rangoon, you know Rangoon? Eh? You don't know Rangoon? Burma, Burma. Oh. Bangladesh is there, you know. You have the seen the, you know, seen the map of Bangladesh. If you from Bangladesh here, and this Sundarban, you know Sundarban, you know Sundarban. You don't know Sundarban. Sundarban, this forest where tiger, important all over the world. Sundarban forest. Yeah. This Sundarban majority, you know, majority portion of Sundarban is there in Bangladesh. Uh, we have one, not big portion, but still is big. And that Sundarban, if you cross, you can be Burma. Burma bin Rangoon. There also Santa Goswami was sent. Because there was some, uh, some of our Guru Bhargava, some of our Guru Bhargava, they were preaching there in, in Burma. So many Bengali people, they, that time they used to say. And the small boy going for begging, you know, Harinam, begging for being here and there. And sometimes small boy, some people joking, hey, you are not walking, you are ideal, you know, sitting and taking prasadam. <laughs> Everywhere, small boy, na? you are begging, why? Eh, small boy, you have energy, you can do some wo work, you know. And in one sweet shop, sweet shop, big sweet shop, that the owner of the big sweet shop is Bengali man, Bengali. Whenever small boy coming, hey, for Goryamat, you can give some seva for Gorang Mahapo. Ha! He's less. So he's joking with him. He's joking with him. And the owner of the shop, he was Shakta. Shakta, you know, he used to worship Kali. The owner of the shop, he used to worship Shakta. Shakta. He used to worship Shakti. And all the name of sweet, because in the because in the because in the almira, almira mean glass almira. There is so you need, you see the sweet shop. There are so many varieties of sweet, and then the man and the owner of the man writing. If you see, if you say I need sweet ball, sweet ball, he become be angry. You will have to speak the name he picks. You will have to you will have to speak the name he picks for each sweet. He picks a name like sweet ball. Like sweet ball, you like to get sweet ball. If you speak sweet ball, you cannot give. You have to say, Ima, Ima na kam mother. And another Sandesh, go ma, ma, ma. He is going to keep, you know, he is going to fix up name of all sweet in the name of mother, Kali. So Ima, Jama, Kama. You know, all <laughs> with Ma, he is going to fix up name. He gives separate name. Then Santukasi Maharaj was annoyed, speaking, Why? I, I should speak something the, the, because the owner of the man is joking with him. Ah, what Krishna can do? You see, then Maharaj speaking, Well, when your father, mother dying, what he was speaking? Balahari Haribol, you are speaking now? Ram Nam Satya, don't speak that. You can say, Balokali, Kalibol, Balokali, Kalibol. Why you are speaking? Eh? You are joking with me? Small boy giving answer to the soft man. If, if you are joking with Krishna, then don't take the name. At the time of death, you will have to speak, na? Ram Nam Satya hai. Eh? Balahari, Haribol, you have to speak. Why you are speaking? You know Krishna is the Supreme Lord, that the man was very full of sigh, <laughs> could not speak answer. So great devotee actually. You know, so many things I remember, but to speak it will take time, so I like to, you know, make shortcut. Then, after Prabhupada gone from this material world, after Prabhupada gone from this material world, the situation was dangerous because they couldn't follow Prabhupada properly. Everybody couldn't follow. Not that everybody could follow Prabhupada. The situation was, it's quite natural. So the situation was you know, not uh, suitable. That time, 
Radharanam, Radharavan Brahmachari was feeling helpless. You know, he went to, he went to house, I mean, previous home, to take decision what to do. In the meantime, Sisila Bhakti, the Madhavgusi Maharaj, Hayagi Brahmachari, he went there to bring him from the home. Radharan Mamuja was helpless. Follow. He went to home. Then Madhavgusi Maharaj, I mean, Hayagi Brahmachari went to their home to bring him back. Hayagi Brahmachari is speaking to father. Vaikuntu Babu, you are the disciple of Prabhupada. How you permit that boy to come here in home? He has already taken renounce order, Brahmachari. Well, his father speaking, I am not going to speak anything. He is coming. If I am going to throw him out, he can feel helpless. He can feel helpless. That's why I give, allow him to stay here for some days. While you are coming, you talk with him. Then, Hayagi Brahmachari is speaking to Radharaman. Radharaman, you are my small... God brother, you must come with me. Your life is dedicated for Prabhupada. Yes. Then why not you come? Bhagavan is there to protect us. Then Hayagi Brahmaji taking away again. Up to the last up to the last moment. Up to the last moment of Santagoshi Maharaj. He used to speak that Banagoshi Maharaj and Bhakti Pram Purigoshi Maharaj, they bring me here in Gauri Mart. Bhakti is the Madhukusi Maharaj, I mean Bhagi Brahmachari, he wanted to protect my life all the last. <laughs> Finally, after Prabhupada gone from this material world, they, I mean Parambiya Madhukusi, Bhagi Brahmachari and uh, Jadavar Gusi Maharaj who took sannyas, Sila Jadavar Gusi Maharaj who took sannyas from Prabhupada. He was the last sannyas of Prabhupada. All they took decision to uh, to open one Gorimat there in Minnapur. In that Minnapur, many times I speak Harikatha. Many times. Bengali Harikatha, there. Many Harikatha. That was the place after this problem, after Prabhupada gone, that was the first Gorimat. And Vinod Babu also make you know, in a rented room, Gauriya Vedanta Samati, I already told. In a rented room in Calcutta, Bagbayar. So anyway, there to be frank, that was the first mod. After that, you know, Santokusi Maharaj started preaching, and Madhukusi Maharaj, and you know, and then Hayagi Brahmachari, then Hayagi Brahmachari requested Hayagi Brahmachari. I mean, our Madhukusi Maharaj requested Silo Jajabhagusi Maharaj. You please give sannyas to this, you know, Radharaman Bhammachari. Please you give sannyas. Then Jajabha Goswami Maharaj is going to give sannyas to Sri Santu Goswami Maharaj. After that great preaching, all big preaching going on everywhere. Big preaching. After that, Sri Santu Goswami Maharaj is going to open one mart in Keshiari. Keshiari is a very important place, but you don't know why. You don't know, Keshari, Keshari is a place there in Midnapur. From Karakpur, you heard the name of Karakpur? Karakpur, you don't know, Karakpur University? Eh? I don't know. Karakpur. From Karakpur, Karakpur IIT, Indian Institute of Technology, they are in Karakpur. Karakpur was the longest station in Asia. But after now, at present, I don't know, in my childhood. Longest station, <laughs> Karakpur. From Karakpur, you will have to go one hour. I have 40 minutes, one hour. I've been there one time in my life when Maharaj disappeared. I can come to the point. Maharaj, when, Maharaj is going to open one mart there in Keshiari. Keshiari is very important because Samananda Prabhu, you heard the name of Samananda Prabhu? You don't know? Samananda Prabhu. And Rashikananda Prabhu. You heard the name of Rashikananda Prabhu, Samananda Prabhu? They used to preach that place, very important. Pool of temples. As a, as a pool of temple there. There, Santagusi Maharaj, 
wanted to, you know, open one Gauriyamat. That was the first Gauriyamat in, you know, that was the first Gauriyamat there in Keshiari. But there was no land. He wanted to, he wanted to purchase one land or somebody going to donate. He went to search, looking, looking for land and some landlord going to give land to Santa Maharaj. I can give this land to you, provided, provided, what is provided? Provided you will have to, provided you will have to speak one small lie. Provided you will have to speak some small lie in court. I can give this land to you. You have to speak some small lie. Santa is speaking, I cannot take your land. I don't need, I cannot speak lie. A symbol of truthfulness, a symbol of truthfulness, I cannot speak like I don't need your land. After that is again searching land, land, land. After that getting a suitable land. I give Brahmaja all the visit. That place is very nice. They purchase, get that land and you know construct Goryamat. Construct Goryamat. Very nice. You know. After that, inauguration, opening of the temple. Santo Goswami Maharaj wanted to invite the king of Orisha, Kima Puri. You know, he wanted to invite the king of Orisha, Puri. But the king speaking, I cannot go, I am already engaged. Then Santo Goswami Maharaj is going to give advice to our Bharti Maharaj. The king loves you very much, why not you go and request him, Dibba Shingo. His name is Dibba Shingo, Rai. Why not do you request? He can come and touch because he is the eternal person of Jagannath. He can come and in the opening ceremony. Is all auspicious? Is all auspicious? Why not you? Bharti Maharaj said, Okay, Maharaj, I can try my best. Then Bharti Maharaj is going to meet with the king and king loved Bharti Maharaj very much. And king talking, actually, Bharti Maharaj said, I am coming with one request. What is the request? Actually, you will have to go to participate. You have to go to participate, to participate in the opening ceremony of Gauriya. Well, how I can go? I am already engaged. Our Bhati was speaking, I cannot go, cannot go. You can cut only no from your word. I can go. <laughs> Bhati was speaking, only will have to take the trouble to erase to erase this word, no, you can cut. Then the sentence become, I can go. Why not you? Then the king, then the king started laughing. Where you are going from? Why you are, you know, already engaged, pre-engagement? But uh, that, that, oh, oh, that is that same way. That is same way. You are going to participate in that function, no? Same way. Well, I take the responsibility, you know, so that there is no trouble. You can go for 10 minutes, you can go and touch the function, speak something and again, immediately I can arrange your going there. Okay? Why not? Then the king agreed. Then the king coming to attend the function. Bharti was so happy, so happy. You know, our Santo was so happy. So happy. And if I go on speaking, it will take, you know, you know, days after days, I cannot finish. So great, you know, his heart was so big. He used to love me also, I can come to the point. It is one kind of self pratishta so I don't like to speak that way. But, you know, when, when the question, when the question of, you know, building up one temple, there in Puri, Santo Goswami Maharaj was also making one temple in Puri. Shargadwar, you know? Shargadwar, near Gaurvat Sai. Gaurvat Sai, the name of the road is Gaurvat Sai. Gaurang Mapu used to go through that road to take bath in, you know, ocean. There Santo Goswami Maharaj went one other man, wanted to open. The land was very small. The land was so small, small, small land mean? There was uh, one old house, old house, very small, old house, and uh, a small place. Then he invited our Bharati Maharaj, my son, 
You'll have to make one temple here. Bhartmaya speaking, that place is very small. Uh, how to make? There should be Natta Mandir, there should be temple, there should be the space of Harikatha Kirtan, there should be the accommodation of devotees. Uh, let me, let me think, Maharaj, let me think. Bharati Maharaj is going to, you know, make one sketch of the temple. And the Santa Kusuma has taken, I don't like to hear anything. You are responsible, I depend upon you. You arrange whatever is feasible, whatever is good, you do. Then Bharati Maharaj is going to make the temple in such a way, if you go to the temple, you can go mad. How Bharati Maharaj planned? Actually, our Bharati Maharaj was topmost, you know, engineer. Though externally no certificate of engineers. Our Bharati Maharaj was a great engineer, his brain. Even Madhu Goswami used to depend upon Bharati Maharaj. I can come to the point someday. Today, no time. Then Bharati Maharaj is going to make temple. And someday, Madhu Goswami Maharaj, someday, Madhu, um, someday, Madhu Goswami Maharaj is going to try to, try to, you know, discover the place of, the birthplace of Gurudev. I mean, you know, in Puri, the birthplace of Prabhupada. But our Madhu Goswami is trying his best, so that we can establish a temple there, and we can, it's, it's a great pilgrimage. It's a great pilgrimage. Where Prabhupada took birth, where Bhakti Thakur, Bhagavati Ma used to stay there, the great, you know, pilgrimage. So, Bharati Maharaj, our Madhu is trying his best. Madhu is going to send Bharati Maharaj and some Jasudananda Prabhu. He is still alive. Number one sadhu. He never meet. In Puri, Puri, in the birthplace of Prabhupada, there is Jasudananda Prabhu. One devotee, his age is now almost 95, around that. Whenever I meet him, he catch me and embarrass me. He loved me so much, I cannot pay. Follow, I cannot pay him. So loveful heart. Always loving. Old age, cannot room, cannot move. His sacking body with stick, with stick cannot move. Whenever I go to that Abhirbha place, I meet with him. He give me prasadam, embrace me, kiss me so much love. I cannot imagine. I can enjoy meeting with a Vaishnav. I don't know in your life you have that kind of scope or not. I am in Vasasan so many times. So many times. I used to meet with you know, so many devotees. Like Santokusi Maharaj, like Nayanananda Baba, like you know, great, great devotees. Like Santokusi Maharaj, so many devotees. I used to enjoy inside heart. I don't know you have the experience or not. Meeting a Vaishnava, but a great experience, but a great issue in your life, I cannot forget. I can come to the point. So, then Jasunanda Prabhu and Bharati Maharaj were sent there. Bharati Maharaj is going to request and, uh, and uh, Santukusi Maharaj. And uh, Santukusi he was going there in the temple. And in, in the meantime, there is the question of Ratha Yatra. Bharati Maharaj is going there. Bharati Maharaj, you know, Santukusi Maharaj speaking, it is our responsibility. It was our responsibility. It was our responsibility to discover the play, birthplace of Prabhupada. Your Guru Maharaj is doing. He is my Shiksha Guru. Now, all the way I am going to help you from heart, wholeheartedly. I like to help you. Actually, now Rathaya Kar Festival, Rathayasta Festival coming. And so many devotees can come to a way, can, they can feel disturbance. So Maharaj give permission, I can go away from... After Rathaya Kar why? Why you are speaking this way? How we can speak this way? How you can speak this way? Maybe, maybe some devotees can come. They can have their loveful accommodation. They can have their loveful accommodation. So why you are going to leave? No, I cannot allow you to leave. You can stay here. You can, you are, you are looking over. 
you are, you are taking care of the construction of Prabhupada. Eh? It is my responsibility. No, don't go. You can stay here. Whatever, you know, inconvenience can be there. But you, I cannot allow you to go. Follow this way. So this way, the heart of Maharaj was so great. Heart of Maharaj was so great. What to speak? Whenever in, in any Dharma Sabha, any Dharma Sabha, any, any Dharma Sabha, Maharaj is sitting as the chairperson. Follow. Any Dharma Sabha. He used to organize that function, I mean Dharma Sabha, so punctual, with, with, uh, full of punctuality, everything. Whenever he is there in a Dharma Sabha, he used to organize the you know, Dharma Sabha, you know, assembly in such a way, you cannot imagine. At present, the chairperson has some particular. He cannot allow you and me to speak. He can allow somebody to say, hey, you can speak, because he can speak about him. He is not going to allow you and me. Follow. This is the condition. But Santu is not that. One day Santu was speaking to Bharti Maharaj. Bharti Maharaj sitting down. All audience sitting down. And all Guru Varga in a dais. Dais, you know, dais. But Santu Maharaj, Santu Maharaj asking Bharti Maharaj, Hey, you come up. How I can come? You all Guru... Come, sit here. Then he is looking at his Gurudev. Then Bhartima is looking at his Gurudev. I mean, Madhugosima. Madhugosima is speaking, when Guru Bhargava is going to give order, so you can come and sit. You can come and sit in a dress. Santo Maharaj used to allow Bhartima to speak Harikata. Because at that time there was no particular. Now there is particular. He can allow you only five minutes. He can allow to speak only, maybe you can five minutes. He can allow one man who is, you know, useless, can allow half an hour. This is the condition. Like the case of Prabhupada went to Kasimbayar, you know, North Bengal. They don't allow Prabhupada to speak Harikata. Finally, they give allow five minutes. Then Prabhupada, you know, they don't allow Prabhupada, Prabhupada go come away from the assembly and don't attend. I can come to this point when the Abhir Bhaptiti come in, I can speak similar way. Santu Maharaj was so, such a neutral personality. Srila Santu Gosi Maharaj, my Guru Padma was so neutral personality that even today I think about him, I am thinking. I pray to Santu Gosi, you, you can come today. Oh, Kesav Goswami Maharaj, oh, Santu Goswami, you must come to, do, to rectify the situation. To rectify the situation prevailing at present. Please, you come. Follow. Oh, so neutral. Then, Santu Goswami Maharaj, suppose in the assembly, everybody is allowed to speak 15 minutes. Suppose. Suppose everybody, all speaker. If some speaker going to cross 15 minutes, then Santu is very angry. Stop. Stop. You don't know the Akarsi of Sava. I told you to 15 minutes. Yes, sir. Sometime in a Sava, one very humble devotee is speaking very nicely. Very nicely. And 15 minutes going to touch. He look at Santu Goswami Maharaj. He is speaking so nicely. He is speaking so nicely about his own feeling. Santu he is looking at Santu is saying, you can speak more. <laughs> because your Harikatha is very nice. Because at present, at present, those foolish people, they don't know the utility of a chairperson. At present, they don't know the utility of a chairperson. The utility of chairperson where? What is the fact? The chairperson can arrange the topmost mangal, topmost benefit for the audience. Follow. It is a duty, it is a duty of the chairperson. It is a duty of the chairperson 
to arrange maximum benefit for the whole assembly. At present, they are stereotype, you know, oh, 10 minutes over. Follow. One assembly, after making that Behala Mart, Behala, you know, Calcutta, Calcutta, South Calcutta, Behala. How many times I've been there? At the time of Maharaj was there, I can speak some incident, they can, you can understand how loveful heart. Santagusi Maharaj opened one temple and, you know, there in Behala and Harikatha Kirtan was very important in his life. Almost whole life he used to do Harikatha Kirtan. Almost whole life he used to do. That time there was big Sava, Dharma Sava was there. One big professor of, you know, uh, Mayavad Sampradaya, big professor, college professor. He attained the function and all big, big devotees like our Bharati Maharaj, like our Bharati Maharaj and Naran Maharaj also, they all invited to speak Harikatha. Long ago, I am not speaking today, all big, big Guru Bhargava also, like Sridhar Goswami Maharaj, all present there Harikatha. And Sabha, I mean, assembly going on Harikatha one by one. Finally, they allow to speak Harikatha to that, you know, Maya, that, you know, professor. They don't know that he is Mayavadi. He started speaking. He started speaking. And he went on speaking about Mayavadi. Santu Maharaj was feeling disturbance. Are it is the assembly of devotee. He is speaking Mayavadi. Santu Maharaj is not speaking anything. They keep silence. He is feeling disturbance. But speaking Mayavad, he is speaking Aham Brahmasmi, Ji, eh? Jiva Brahmaiva no Paraha. He is speaking all Mayavad Siddhanta. After the assembly is over, uh, the final touch, Santo Maharaj is going to speak final touch of Harikatha. Santo Goswami Maharaj is going to establish Siddhanta. Bhakti Kalt, Bhakti Siddhanta. Chattu Goswami was speaking that actually, actually, Aham Brahmasmi, Sarvam Khaludam, khal, Sarvam Khalu Idam Brahma, all Brahma mai, na? So Santama is asking to that professor, you are also Brahma? Yes. I am also Brahma? Yes. Everybody Brahma? Yes. Nothing there except Brahma? Nothing there except Brahma? Yes. He is speaking. Then Santu Goswami is taking the his stick, you know, stick. He's taking the stick and going to beat that man. Ah, oh, you are beating me? But just now you told you are Brahma, I am Brahma. Who is going to beat whom? Who is going to beat whom? <laughs> eh? You just say that you are Brahma. Brahma Nirvikar. There is no reaction on Brahma. You are Brahma, my Brahma. My stick is all for Brahma. Who is going to beat whom? Eh? You are speaking lie? You have to confess. That dual conception is there inside your heart. You are going to speak forcefully that Brahma. No, don't speak that way. Mahaprabhu spoke, Achinta Veda Vetta. So Santagusim Maharaj was so intelligent. Santagusim Maharaj was so intelligent, I cannot explain. Santagusim Maharaj was so intelligent, even without speaking so much speech. Santagusim Maharaj was so intelligent, even without speaking so many things. We, we, by one expression, Santu Goswami can, can change the heart of everybody. It's called Acharan, the influence of Acharan. Without speaking anybody, anything. He is not passing lecture. Only going to take the Dhanar video. <laughs> by this, he proved that you are a liar. And all audience started laughing. Ha 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 Started laughing. You are speaking lie. You are Brahma. Brahma is no reaction. Nirbikar. You are not Brahma, you are speaking lie. Mahaprabhu told, this material world is not 100% false. Mahaprabhu told, this material world is not 100% false. It is okay, but unstable. But you are speaking all false. All material world, what I am thinking, this building, this everything, a dream. Mayavad is speaking, all dream. Sansar, nothing there, it is like dream. You idiot, your body is also dream. Your body also dream, why you become fear? 
Bayam, Bayam, Dithiyo Vini Vishatahashad, Ishat Apatash, Viparja, Asriti, you are foolish? Eh? You are Pandit? Foolish? Bayam, you have dual conception. Bayam, Bayam, where from this fearful, where from this fearful attitude coming? Bayam, Dithiyo Vini Vishatahashad, Ishat Apatash, Viparja, Asriti. Tanmaya Yato, Avajatam, Bhaktaika Esham Gurudeva Tatma. You are a liar. We should not speak that way. Mahapu speaking, material world is unstable. Not that is, you know, building is dream, everything is dream. Is dream? Foolish? Eh? Is dream? Itazi is dream? I am dig dream? No, unstable, Mahapu told. And Mahapu wanted to establish Achinta Veda Vetatta through which everything was clarified. I used to take some advantage of the mercy of Santokashima. I am bound to declare. Because everybody against me. Everybody against me. So I, I wanted to take the advantage of Santokashima. <laughs> Follow. I was you know, giving the responsibility of editing Gauriya Patrika, the Guru Maharaj's, you know, 100 years completion. That time, Hindi, Bengali, Spanish, English, and I wanted to have Spanish, I don't know. English, Hindi, and some wanted to send articles to those uh, respective editors. Respective editors. Those who are going to take the department, in charge of the department. Hindi, Bengali, English. I used to send all articles. Because basically everything originally coming to me, like the, like the article Santokushi Maharaj, or everybody, all sadhu, they are going to send to me. And I am going to write. One day I was in problem. I find one important devotee. Important in the sense. Important in the sense. Important in the sense. He is going to think. I am a, I am a big importance. He thinks so. I read the Siddhanta picture of that article. I was, I was in confusion. It cannot so happen. If I am going to edit, then they can, they can fight with me. So better I can take the article and go to Santa Kusri Maharaj. Because that time Guru Maharaj was in a hundred years already. So I should not disturb. So I went to Santa Kusri Maharaj. Maharaj, there is some confusion of Siddhanta. What, what problem? I can read two Siddhanta in front of you. You can speak what? I am not going to speak the name of the writer. I can speak two Siddhanta. You can say what is right, what is wrong. Then I, I started reading the Siddhanta. No, no, this Siddhanta wrong. Okay, okay. Then Maharaj, this Siddhanta is, ah, Siddhanta, okay. Eh? I took the permission of Maharaj and coming edit editing done, after the souvenir was published, the man came to attack me. I simply told you, you can go to Santagoshi Maharaj. I am not responsible. Santagoshi Maharaj speak this. If I speak, I have done, they can beat me. I am not, I am junior. So in the name of Santagusi Maharaj, I was saved. <laughs> in the name, Maharaj used to love me so much. Suppose some foreign devotee, suppose some foreign devotee want to meet with Santagusi Maharaj. They like to catch it. Samal Krishna, that time I was not white vest. I was red cloth. Samal Krishna. Samal Krishna, you can go with me, foreign devotee. Like Rishikas Maharaj in Malaysia, he has some more. He is from America originally. And uh, no, uh, now gone from this material world. Then after that, he take me with, I go and talk, because we cannot allow them to approach too near to Santagusi Maharaj. Follow? They are sitting here. I am hearing from Santam Maharaj, speaking, translating. They are speaking and translating Santam Maharaj. This way, I have, I have had the opportunity to serve Sri Santagusi in a great way. I am very, I am very glad I am very glad to come in contact with such a great devotee. When the hundred years completion of my Guru Maharaj, hundred years, you know, salute, not completion, hundred years, you know, completion, yes, hundred years centennial, yes, hundred years ceremony. That time I was sent to bring Santoku Maharaj from Behala. Special car, I took special car from here <coughs> and went to Calcutta to bring Santagushi Maharaj from there. And Maharaj, you know, was very happy. 
was very happy. He came with me in a car. His heart was so great, and there was no accommodation, accommodation in the car. Still, my was speaking, Are, hey, you cannot go? You cannot go? You cannot go? Sila Bhakti Puri Goswami Abhir Bhakti Thi. You should go. Gurudev, there is no place. You can sit in my lap. Santamara was speaking. <laughs> I have seen. I wonder. There is no place in the car. Fool. You, know, I, you cannot go. Come, come, come. When no space, you can sit in my lap. <laughs> he can lap. <laughs> this way he used to go. There. Oh, great devotee, you know. And <coughs> our, 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 you know, Bhakti Vilas Sittu Goswami Maharaj. I cannot continue. I like to continue so much. I am enjoying actually. But what do you do? Our Bhakti Vilas Sittu Goswami Kunjoda, Kunjoda, you know? Kunjo Bihari Vidya Bhushan. I can discuss this point. Kunjoda, call Santu Goswami Maharaj. Maharaj, you come. You will have to promise. What promise? You love Prabhupada, na? Yes, I love Prabhupada. You can prove it? Yes, I can prove it. Then you will have to, Prabhupada gone, you will have to promise, you have to do three commitments. What is that? I can do anything and everything what you say. First point, you will have to give, you will have to give your first disciple. You will have to give your first disciple for the seva of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that Kanupriya Baba. <laughs> I meet him, na? <laughs> Kanupriya Baba. Now, hundred years, four months, is there in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Hundred years, four months over. <laughs> he loved me. Sam Baba, when he loved you. So much love. I don't know why. He loved me very much. And long ago, maybe 20, 25 years back, I had the opportunity to speak Harikatha, Bengali Harikatha. In Chaitanya Namad, I used to stay, used to stay in Chaitanya Namad. After that, when there was some problem, they cannot allow my Harikatha, then I went to. First of all, I took shelter there. Some problem here. After that, gone there. After, there is also. Follow. So, Kanupriya Babaji Maharaj was the first disciple of Santagusi Maharaj who was, who was donated to, was, you know, was given in donation for the Seva of Chaitanya. From the first day, he is still there. You can watch him. He is there. Second commitment. Bhakti will have to first you will have to you will have to donate your first disciple for the Seva of Chaitanya. Well, I can do. Second, you will have to organize, you will have to organize the parikram of you know Gaurdam Parikram. Thousands of people coming. So you will have to take responsibility. Well, I can take. You can organize the whole function. Yeah, you can organize the whole parikram and Santagasi Maharaj is not a matter of joke. Santagasi Maharaj, an example of Guru Nishtha, a symbol of Guru Nishtha, a symbol of Guru Nishtha, a symbol of truthfulness, never speak lie in his life. At present, everybody can speak lie. Follow. Organize. Whenever I can call you, Third condition, whenever I can call you for the seva of Chaitanya Mahat, you will have to come. Night 12 o'clock, if night 12 o'clock I am going to call you, you can come or not? Yes, I can come. Our Bhakti Vilas Sittu, night time 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, if I call you, you can come for the seva of Chaitanya Mahat? Yes or not? Yes, I can come. So I promise you. From that day onward, whenever any problem with Chaitanya Mahat, any problem? Oh, oh, I just cannot forget Santagusi Maharaj. So straightforward. One Acharya of Chaitanya, he was against Prabhupada, all rubbish he was doing. Santagusi write one big letter. Hey, who are you? You think you are, you know, big personality? Santagusi used to write one letter. Be careful. Write a letter. Big, big society, I don't like to name. Because it is not my duty. Big society. Santama is going to write later. You are all running wrong way. I can show the letter. 
When I was in Surya Kundu, I was helpless. You know. I was helpless. By the mercy of Gurudev, I was saved. All devotees sending information that Maharaj has no cloth, no kambal, nothing, winter season, sitting in the ground, naked ground, with one sack. This way I was saved. Bhagavan saved me. That time, in, in you know, when I was in Sujakundo, I wrote one painful letter. I wrote, I wrote one painful letter of my situation to Santokasi Maharaj. That letter is there. That letter was printed. I can show you that letter was printed in Bengali. That time Santokasi Maharaj was in KCRD, rooftop. Rooftop, you know? KCRD, rooftop. Santokasi write me one letter in which he is going to forecast. I can show you, you can wonder. I, I was wondered to see. He wrote already, 20, 25 years back. He will have to do Sampradaya Seva. He write this way. He will have to do Sampradaya Seva. He will have to do Guru Seva, Sampradaya Seva. All you write, forecast 25 years back. I was helpless, penniless. Only I'm begging to chapati from Brahmin, you know, Brajavasi room. How I can do? How? How I can do? Finally, by the mercy of Sandhu, you can start your Guru Seva, you can do your Guru Seva, you will have to do Sampradaya Seva. Are you? Sampradaya Seva? Sampradaya Seva is the responsibility of a great Acharya, big Acharya. Who am I? I have no position. If I have any position, then thousands of people could hear my Harikatha. They are not hearing thousands. Very handful men, because they don't know eh? what is Pohupad Harikata, what is that. They don't know me, they don't know my, don't know my Acharan. But I, by the mercy of my Guru Varga, Santu Goswami Maharaj, and all my Guru Varga, I like to maintain my life, though it is too hard. Still, I am trying my best. I am trying. I cannot say I am successful. This is not good to speak that way. It is one kind of false ego. If I speak, I am maintaining acharan. As no, I cannot speak because humbleness, humbleness is automatically there with one acharan sil Vaishnav. A Vaishnav who is a perfect efficacy, naturally he has a humbleness. I am nothing. Even after doing massive preaching all over the world, I have done nothing. I have done nothing. Ha ha ha. I am, I am fallen soul like Narutam Thakur. After preaching so much, I'm nothing. I'm doing nothing. I'm useless. It's a mood. Not that I'm a great preacher. Who have we have done? No. Preaching is a duty of Nityananda. If Nityananda is going to kick me out of this preaching field, who am I to preach? Today, I have the scope to speak. Today, I have the, today I have the scope to speak simply because Nityananda is going to give me backing. I can solemnly say in this sava, I am going to solemnly say, Santu Gusri Maharaj, Kesav Gusri Maharaj, Bhavan Gusri Maharaj, Chittu Maharaj, they are all going to back me. They are going to give me backing. That's why I am speaking. Otherwise, I am a teeny creature of the infinite world. Who am I? I cannot explain anymore because time cannot permit. Excuse me. Gurur Anugrahen Noi Bapuman Purna Prasanda. Someday, Abhir Bhaptiti Santo Maharaj, I can prove this sloka in the life of Santo. Gurur Anugrahen Noi Bapuman Purna Prasanda. I can remember, I cannot forget. Maybe it is, you know, five, six months after, in the month of Baishak. I can remember everything, what I finished today and where, where, from where I can start. Follow. I can start. So, so I started with the slog. Jana Sya Krishna Ad Bimukha Sya Daivad Adhar Masila Sya Shudukhita Sya Ano Gruhaye Ho Charanti Nunam Bhutani Habyani Chana Ardana Sya Last when I got information about his, you know, last Lila, 
I was full of fever. I, I start running like blind. I started running like blind up to Karakpur. And I participate in that function of final ceremony of Maharaj after living body. I like to beg Kripa from I like to beg Kripa from him. I mean useless. He can bestow Kripa on him. It is the ocean of mercy. So today so today's topics. Eh? Sila Bhakti Kumo Santagusi Maharaj. Eh? Who is non different from a Guru Paramahansa Gurudev. As a symbol, a symbol of truthfulness, as a symbol of Guru Nishta. Vanchakalpadurus to keep us in the Bhajan. Patitanang Pabana Bhavishnu, if you know